I couldn't improve my accuracy with my driver, okay, until I used this drill. I've got to thank the dogs for lending me their tennis ball. This is going to be so good. It's all about control oh, the club face and giving you some better accuracy with your driver. This is a cold, hard fact. Where your ball ends up with driver down the range or on the course is made up of about 85% of where this face is pointing. So whether it's open, whether it's closed, here, there, wherever it is, it's a pretty big deal, right? So you better make sure you're controlling it. So we're gonna use the trap man here and have a look at this. I still don't get this. Those little boxes out there, one on the left and one on the right, they're what's picking up the golf ball, which honestly, it baffles me. So we're down here at the beaches. It's gonna help me just explain about correlation of face open and, and the ball flight. Now, I'm gonna place the tennis ball. Again, one thing I'd say with all these drills, you don't have to have one of these. It's just something that helps me explain. But by all means, if you do have a spare one, the dogs are lending you one, do it. So I've placed it, look at that there, trying to get that line I've drawn directly matched up with that shaft, just like that. So the club face is nice and square to start with and the ball is on there. Okay. So let's tick off a few scenarios here. Let's go down the line. If you are a golfer who is struggling with distance and can't quite get that golf ball in the air, we know potentially we're taking a little bit of loft off. Now, one option could be just to add loads of loft to that driver, but let's just say we can't do that. So first things first, we're gonna show you this from both angles, player cam as well here. We could be closing that club face far too much. So when you do this, have a look at the club face there. Where's it pointing? It's sort of pointing straight down towards that ground. From the tennis ball perspective, I can see this arrow here is now pointing all the way to the ground. And from the player cam perspective, I cannot see that at all. Just categorically can't see that. So what we're saying here is, the most important part of the golf swing is how you start it, okay? Because if I went like this in the backswing, I've got to do a hell of a lot to sort of save it on the way down. If not, it's gonna go a little bit low and left. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that, hit one away, and this is sort of the ball flight on the side of the screen you'd anticipate if you exaggerated that too much. <laughs> not very much in the air, really low, really left. Okay, next scenario. Let's go. Let's rattle through this because I want you to listen to all three because it's really, really important. Okay, place that on. The confidence you're going to get from understanding this is great. I'm going to show you how you can control the first six inches of your swing and that's really key. So again, line on top. We're going to start with a tennis ball this time. So this is if you're opening it. So hitting it high and right. This is what I think I say, guess a lot of people don't realise. They do. Because especially with driver, the swing's very round, you don't realise you do this. We get that top arrow pointing to the ground over in this direction. Now have a look at they correlate. Look at my club face. And come and look at the arrow. Pointing all the way over to the ground. Now that's what we want to avoid. Don't do that that would hit it high and right. And you can see that on the screen right now. Finally, what drill do we wanna do? So let's do the drill to start with, just with the tennis ball on. And then, okay, and then we'll, we'll show you how you can take it into your irons, into your driver on the course. So what I like to feel is this arrow here, okay, so come have a look at this, we'll show you from player cam two, is pointing just outside my toe line this arrow now look at that club face is nice and strong i've moved that triangle together club face is nice and square so therefore i've got to do less as i come into the golf ball because i've not opened it i've not closed it i've really just controlled that start of my golf swing really really nice and simple so listen to this carefully here i want you to feel okay as a right-handed golfer through your takeaway so that first sort of five, six inches, maybe up to hip height, that your right arm stays on top of your left. So like this, just like this. 
just like this. Don't get the wrists involved, that will turn the tennis ball to over because most of us get the left arm above the right. That's what I want you to avoid, especially with driver. So you can stand on the range, practice that feeling, even do like some of the pros do, right? Just this, have a few waggles, right arm above left, and then you're ready to hit. Oh, look at that. That has gone so far and so straight for me. I need to bring that feeling in way more. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is gonna be a great video for you. I know it, the tennis ball just simply breaks it down for you.